During the 60-second lunar revolution, Casper deploys its small sub-satellite, which will be left in lunar orbit to measure plasma and energetic particle fluxes. As a result of the earlier CSM engine gimbal troubles, a planned orbital shaping burn was not conducted, and the satellite was thus inserted into a less than nominal orbit. It is believed that the satellite struck the far side of the moon, not too far after lunar module Orion did, in May of 1973. Because there were still concerns regarding the SPS engine, a decision was made to bring Apollo 16 home a day early, and at 200 hours and 21 minutes into the flight, the fuel valves snap open, and Casper's engine begins pushing her out of lunar orbit. 16, you're go for DEI. 16 is going for DEI. Roger. Trans-Earth injection was achieved at a velocity of 2,600 meters per second after 64 lunar orbits, lasting a total of 125 hours, 49 minutes, and 32 seconds. Apollo 16 was coming home.